Is this recording? Yes, it is. I can see my voice. Hello, everybody. Hey, I've got a bit of a dilly of a pickle of a jam. So I'm doing streams, as many of you have seen here on Facebook. Do not know who's watching us right now. Maybe I should get onto Facebook. I'm not gonna... All right, the dog's barking at random things. Anyways, I have a stream this weekend. I should have shut the door. Hi, everybody. It's Neil Bauer with Double Plus. Hey, uh, a lot of you have seen that I'm doing streams on Facebook, doing tests and doing Twitch streams, and it was all leading up to a series of retro gaming events that are um, that we're taking part in for a few of our charitable clients. Well, the problem is I picked up an Elgato HD 60S Plus for capturing the stream, and the HDMI works on some games, but not on others. So the more graphically intensive ones, the more flicker I had. And I, I, some of you have saw the ESPN 2K5 stream and commented that it was all glitchy. Well, I figured out what was going on. The reality is that I have two Xboxes. I have two <laughs> Xbox systems. And I'll see if I can pull them up here. But the, the problem is that, do I have it? Oh gosh, these are all from today. The problem is that one of the Xboxes, the AV, what do you call it? The output on the system has uh, some either corrosion or some wear, and it cannot output. Uh, I guess there's just like when you have to blow on cartridges to get them to go. Effectively, that's what's happening with the output jack on my X, my one Xbox. Uh, so, what's funny is that the CD drive works on that one. So, when I play CD games, things get generally better. The second system has a similar problem, that it flickers on... Sorry, sorry. No, the second problem is not the AV problem. The second problem is that the machine works, it's just that the... DVD drive. Number one does not open, so you have to open it with a, uh, a paper clip. The second part is that it has uh, the DVD spin up is not spinning up. It fails at spinning up. So the one system can't output, the other system they can't output can't play discs. So all of that said, I am desperately looking, there's nobody watching this, so I'm going to try to package this up and put it out there. I am in desperate need of an original Xbox. One of these. That actually, this one's warm. It's been in the sun all day. My baby is in the sun. It's my original Xbox from 2001. Sometime in September, I'm sure. But anyways, this does not function. The drive does not function in this one. Now, it, uh, there's tutorials on how to replace the bands in the drive. Wow, that has got to get out of the sun. Apparently I have a kiln going over or it's an arc. I'm like creating, well, what is that? I'm etching into metal over here. That is not good. I can assure you it has not been in there for, it's not been in the sun that long. It's been in the sun just for today, but I'm gonna get it out of there. Anyways, the rubber bands that operate the drive are bad. Or have worn and so it can't spin up the disc I am not going to open that machine up and so I'm just trying to I mean worst case scenario I, I'm gonna postpone the stream but if anybody has access to or knows where I can get locally not my friends on the East Coast I need something local uh, just an original Xbox that I can get for a uh, weekend stream you be my heroes. So thank you, whoever's watching this. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to post this on all my other social media just to see if I can grab one console. Again, I got everything set up except for <laughs> the day the day prior, and it all falls apart. So, all right, thank you all for watching, and anybody who can help, greatly appreciate it in advance. Bye.